sodium site on Queen Street is long overdue a video review. At the beginning of March, they were just preparing the surface on which the big drill machine would operate. But it worked on in areas unaffected by the earlier demolition. Concern to protect neighbouring hydro lines is reflected in regular visits by the responsible authority. The big Liebherr drill is as well travelled as any other worker on the site. Queen Street was closed for a day or two whilst essential water main work was conducted. But it was done very efficiently and very quickly. By mid-month, the Roney Group had begun construction of revetments that will protect the site in the future. In this scene, you can see very clearly behind the excavator the results of the work of the drill and the concrete-filled caissons. And now, the work of preparing the floor of the underground garage can begin. Here, on the right, you can see the revetments and above them, protective roofing for the neighbours. Necessary excavation of the site is done methodically and steadily. The team from Action Fencing and Scaffolding do a remarkably good job on the protective structures. And the Roney crew do a mean job on shoring and revetment. Here's a look at the grout that goes into the caissons and solidifies before they're withdrawn. 
now we're coming up to date and approaching the end of the month. The case on work continues. No room for error here. And it doesn't make much difference what the weather brings. Recently, a new small drill machine has been deployed to ease the work of the hoe ram breaking up the floor. It contributes to more precise action. And its operator is quite correctly very proud of it. We'll close with this descending shot and the last look at the big drill machine. Thanks for watching, and I'll try to catch up more frequently.